Hey guys, Flay here. Just a small update on the upcoming summary changes that we are going to be getting on patch 6.1 based on the live letter information provided to us. Our Yajutsus, Minari Setsugeka, Kaishi Setsugeka, Ogina Mikiri and Kaishi Namikiri will now be dealing guaranteed critical hits. Now you may ask me whether this change is good or not. This is a pretty good change and I am pretty happy about it, but there is also a downside to it which I am going to be talking about in a bit. If you played Samurai before, you know that our damage is extremely high when we crit or direct hit these skills and the damage is extremely low when we do not. So this change will basically be making Samurai to have more consistency in damage which is a great thing. Now the downside to this change, especially if you are someone who likes parsing, optimizing, compete out nerf logs and do speed kills. Samurai is the job that provides the most during raid buffs. Now, you may have seen jobs like Warrior being locked out in groups that have Scholars and Dragoons etc. The reason for this is because Warrior has guaranteed critical direct hits during these buffs provided from those jobs. This means that jobs that have critical hit and direct hit buffs gain no extra raid DPS from Warrior. This will in turn be applied to Samurai as well. So there is a fair chance of us being locked out out of many pass groups. I personally, I am not too fond about uh, this part of the change because I like to optimize melees and Samurai is my main job on it. But regardless, I would take more gameplay consistency over it, but this may affect on whether I am able to post videos on optimization more on Samurai or not in the upcoming future as I mostly pass in random groups. Now for the next change. The action Hisatsu Kaiten has been removed to reduce action bloat. I personally do not like this change at all. Kaiten played a big role in the way Samurai played for me, even if minor, it added up. I would preferred they removed Shoha 2 and made Shoha AoE instead. Removing Kaiten also means that the crits from our Iajutsus will no longer be as high. So even if the crit change is good, this kind of makes it in a weird spot that I need to think more onto on whether it is good or not. Let me know on the comment section below on what you guys think about it. Because we also had action potencies adjusted to make up for this. So this may not necessarily be a bad thing. That's it for the update, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great day.